Welcome to the MBS Engineering Channel. Today, we are looking at the working principle of the electrostatic precipitator, ESP. We will discuss this in the detailed description given below. The first topic is the purpose of the electrostatic precipitator, ESP. The second topic is the working principle of the electrostatic precipitator step by step. Next, the third topic is the electrostatic precipitator ESP the working principle animation video. The first topic is the purpose of the electrostatic precipitator ESP. The main purpose of the electrostatic precipitator is Point number one is, an electrostatic precipitator, ESP, is a piece of equipment that is used to capture dust particles that are formed or liberated by various industrial processes. The purpose of an ESP is to avoid these particulates being expelled into the atmosphere, where they can cause pollution. Point number two, it is the most used device for air pollution control. They are used in industries like steel plants, thermal energy plants, and other plants. Next, we learn the electrostatic precipitator working principle step by step. Please refer to the following step-by-step -step process of removing the dust particles. The first step is the flue gas particles, ionization. The second step is the particle migration. The third step is dust particle collection. The fourth step is charge dissipation. The fifth step is particle dislodging. The sixth step is particle conveying. Next, we learn the electrostatic precipitator working principle step by step. Please refer to the following step by step process of removing the dust particles. The first step of the electrostatic precipitator's working principle is the ionization of the dust particles. Please refer to the picture below. Discharge electrodes are placed in between the collecting electrodes, and then the discharge electrodes are connected to the high voltage TR set or transformer rectifier, which provides a high voltage, negatively charged. A high voltage system TR set, transformer rectifier, provides a high voltage, negative charged, to the discharge electrode to generate an electrical field. The collecting electrode is connected to the earth. The particulate, entrained in the gas, is charged while passing through the electrical field. Please refer to the following step-by-step -step process for removing the dust particles. The second step of the electrostatic precipitator's working principle is particle migration. The first point is, that the dust particles present in flue gas possess a negative charge in their travel path and start moving to the opposite polarity positive. The second point is, that, due to the high potential difference, the negative icons move from discharge electrodes to earthed collecting electrodes. This is called the corona effect. Please refer to the picture, due to the high potential difference in the corona effect, the dust particles present in flue gas possess a negative charge in their travel path and start moving to opposite polarity positive. Please refer to the following step-by-step -step process of removing the dust particles. The third step of the electrostatic precipitator's working principle is dust particle collection. The dust particles present in flue gas possess a negative charge in their travel path and start moving to the opposite polarity positive. 
The particulate is then attracted to the grounded collector plate and forms a dust layer on the plate. Please refer to the picture. The particulate is then attracted to the grounded collector plate and forms a dust layer on the plate. Please refer to the following step-by-step -step process for removing the dust particles. The fourth step of the electrostatic precipitator's working principle is charge dissipation. The particulate is then attracted to the grounded collector plate and forms a dust layer on the plate. Further dust particles, neutralizing the charged particles on the collecting surfaces. Please refer to the picture. The particulate is then attracted to the grounded collector plate and forms a dust layer on the plate. Further dust particles, neutralizing the charged particles on the collecting surfaces. Please refer to the following step-by-step -step process for removing the dust particles. The fifth step of the electrostatic precipitator working principle is particle dislodging. The dust layer is then dislodged from the collecting plates and emitting electrodes by the wrapping mechanism. The following type of wrapping mechanism is used in the electrostatic precipitator. The first one is MIGI wrapping. The second one, tumbling wrapping. The third one is, the sonic horn. Please refer to the wrapping mechanism pictures that are used in the electrostatic precipitator. MIGI wrapping system, tumbling wrapping system, sonic horn. Please refer to the following step-by-step -step process for removing the dust particles. The sixth step of the electrostatic precipitator working principle is particle conveying. The dust particles are dislodged from the collecting and discharge electrodes to the hopper. It's further conveyed from the hopper to the silo by the conveying system arrangement. The following few dust disposal arrangements are used for the electrostatic precipitator. The first one is, the rotary airlock valve. The second one is, a double flap valve. The third one is, the pneumatic conveying system. Please refer to the following summarized process for removing the dust particles in the electrostatic precipitator. The first step is, an electrostatic precipitator, ESP, is a dust collecting device that removes particles from a gas stream by using electrical energy to charge particles. The second step is, the ESP works on the principle of the corona effect. The third step is, a high voltage system TR, transformer rectifier, set that provides a high voltage, negative charge, to the discharge electrode to generate an electrical field. The collecting electrode is connected to the earth. The particulate, entrained in the gas, is charged while passing through the electrical field. The fourth step is, due to the high potential difference, the negative icons move from discharge electrodes to earth collecting electrodes. This is called the corona effect. The fifth step is, that the dust particles present in flue gas possess a negative charge in their travel path and start moving to opposite polarity positive. The particulate is then attracted to the grounded collector plate and forms a dust layer on the plate. The sixth step is, that the dust layer is then dislodged from the collecting plates and thus charge electrodes by the wrapping mechanism.
Please refer to the electrostatic precipitator working animation video for better understanding. Please refer to the following summarized process for removing the dust particles in the electrostatic precipitator. The first step is, an electrostatic precipitator, ESP, is a dust collecting device that removes particles from a gas stream by using electrical energy to charge particles. The second step is, the ESP works on the principle of the corona effect. The third step is, a high voltage system TR, transformer rectifier, set that provides a high voltage, negative charge, to the discharge electrode to generate an electrical field. The collecting electrode is connected to the earth. The particulate, entrained in the gas, is charged while passing through the electrical field. The fourth step is, due to the high potential difference, the negative icons move from discharge electrodes to earth collecting electrodes. This is called the corona effect. The fifth step is, that the dust particles present in flue gas possess a negative charge in their travel path and start moving to opposite polarity positive. The particulate is then attracted to the grounded collector plate and forms a dust layer on the plate. The sixth step is, that the dust layer is then dislodged from the collecting plates and thus charge electrodes by the wrapping mechanism. I hope everyone learns about the purpose of the ESP, the step-by-step -step working principle of the ESP, and the ESP working animation video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more informational videos.